Getting ready for your holiday shopping? Wishing someone gave a damn and gave you something that you actually liked? Well, we can't give you better friends, but we can give you an excellent gift idea, fresh from your very own garden. Hey, it's garden craft time, and just in time for the holidays. Hi, girls. Hi. You know what, we're gonna make one of my original designs, a living tapestry pillow made of succulent. And this is my inspiration. We all seen these in grandma's house or in our own homes. Mm -hmm. Well, how about if this was full of living plants? Cool. Whoa. I got that idea. Okay, let's get it out of the way. <laughs> really simple, guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And this is what you need. A waterproof outdoor pillow like this. You need some moss, sphagnum moss. You need succulents. You know, echavarias are great, sedums are wonderful. You can even cut these from the garden. And you need some pantyhose. The first step, which we've already done, is we removed the stuffing from our pillows. And we filled them with sphagnum moss. And moss is the perfect medium to grow succulents. You don't always need soil, guys, to grow a plant. It's really, it feels like a pillow. Isn't that cool? It's, it's like very squishy. realistic. It really passes as a pillow. We have to get our succulent cuttings ready. So these are already prepared. If you see on this side, you notice that I have pantyhose uh. wrapping around the root ball. The reason for the pantyhose is that I want to keep the root ball together. So let me show you how to prepare a succulent if you buy it from the nursery. Here's how you buy the succulent, right? It's got the root ball. Well, guess what? I'm not putting this whole big thing in here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear it up. Then I'm going to get a piece of pantyhose, which I already cut. And I am going to wrap it. So I'm going to figure eight it just to make it nice and full and tight. So I'm keeping these roots together. And you know what makes it easier to insert into a pillow like this is if you add a little stick. I made the first cut, it's about an inch. What you want to do for the design is grab a nice big medallion looking plant. Stick your hand inside of your pillow because you want to guide this in. We're going to go through the pillow. Be really careful. Kind of wedge it into the moss. Wherever you want to put your second succulent. I want to do like a diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and pierce this if I can. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Again, go don't make the hole too big because then you're going to have a floppy succulent. <laughs> now we're going to choose a secondary uh, succulent. So I want choose something one. a little contrast. All right, go for it. Here's my contrast. I'm gonna, again, we're gonna push it through and if you see that the hole isn't big enough, we'll make it bigger. Okay, let's go for our third hole. And I'm doing find one place here. where you want that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some reindeer moss, this pretty more expensive moss. That is nice and I'm going to finish off the holes. <gasps> oh, I like that. Oh. Little contrast, little pocket. Yes. I'm going to take some like that. And take that also off. helps fill in if you made a hole that is not the right size Correcto. for the succulent. That's right. That the whole fun of this is displaying it. I like to display it in an entry bench, in the backyard, maybe in the patio. If you have a pet and they try to eat it, what happens? Or does that not well, happen? Uh, I don't know what your pet likes to eat. I would suggest you feed your pet <laughs> and then he won't be hungry. So don't put ham inside Yeah, do, do not tempt nature. This is For great. maintaining it, couldn't be easier. Get yourself a water bottle like this, and you're just going to spray like this. Water your pillow maybe once a week. You don't want to put these guys in full sun because oh, okay. you're just going to tax your plant too much. You don't want to do that. Do you have to sew the top of it? Good question. Closed or? You know, if you want, you can take some Velcro just to keep it closed. But you know what I like to do instead? I like to finish it off with more succulents. Yay. Awesome. So there you have it, a living succulent tapestry pillow. Happy gift throwing!